Hello, my name is Suzanne Winter, and I'm the Chief Commercial Officer and Senior Vice President of Research and Development at Accuray. And I'd like to welcome you to the Accuray Virtual Booth at Astro 2020. We have continuously led the way in making advanced technologies and treatments more efficient, more economical, and more practical. The CyberKnife S7 system is the most recent illustration of Accuray's commitment to ongoing innovation. S7 will empower clinicians with advanced technology by providing the most flexibility to perform both SRS and SBRT treatments, and that gives the best possible care regardless of the type of tumor, its location, or stage in the patient's treatment journey. What is the CyberKnife S7 system? It's the world's only robotic, stereotactic radiation therapy device capable of offering the highest precision required for SRS and SBRT treatments, now with treatment times in as little as 15 minutes. Additionally, the S7 incorporates the accurate only next generation synchrony technology that provides real-time tracking of the most subtle changes in tumor and patient motion. It synchronizes and adapts the radiation treatment delivery, providing the highest dose to the target with the least amount of radiation to healthy tissue, making it the system of choice for extreme or moderate hypofractionated treatments. Next, you'll hear from two leading SBRT experts on how the CyberKnife S7 is unlocking new levels of speed, precision, and motion synchronization for their clinics. Dr. Haas is a pioneer in the field of SBRT for managing prostate malignancy and one of its most cited lecturers. He completed his undergraduate studies at Cornell University and subsequently attended the Washington School of Medicine. Dr. Haas spent a year investigating at the National Institutes of Health, NCI. Dr. Haas completed his residency at the University of Pennsylvania where he served as chief resident. Associate Professor of Radiation Oncology at the NY School of Medicine. He serves as the Chairman of Radiation Oncology at NYU Winthrop Hospital. He has served on the Cancer Executive Committee at Winthrop for the past decade. He has extensive publications regarding the use of SBRT for a wide array of disease sites with an expertise in prostate and breast malignancy. My name is Dr. John Haas. I'm the Chairman of Radiation Oncology at NYU Winthrop Hospital and the Perlmutter Cancer Center. We have two practice locations, one on Long Island and one in uh, Midtown Manhattan, which is where I'm at now. Compared to older models, I mean, it's, the biggest thing is faster. Um, you know, the whole knock, to be perfectly honest, and again, I'm not beholden to accurate. We have, you know, to be honest, we have other systems in our department. Um, the knock on CyberNet used to be that it was slower. You know, we used to have to allocate an hour spot for a patient. You know, so that kind of limited you to 10 patients a day, whereas our other Linux, we could treat 40 a day. Um, now with you know, the adaptations, the new F7s that we have, uh, we're down to 15 minute treatment time. So they slot essentially no different than any other Linux that we have. And you have the advantage of the robotic technology, um, the tracking, the real-time tracking, synchrony, um, so we're as fast for the majority of tumors that we are with any other treatment that we have. I'm a dinosaur in this field. I've been in radiation oncology since 1997. Um, I used to be the young guy and now I'm the old guy, but you know, back in the day, um, we used to be really, and we still are, but we used to be afraid of normal anatomy tolerance. You know, for example, if you had a tumor of the pituitary gland and you have the optic chiasm there, we used to have to kind of forward plan, or even with IMRT, you know, you'd have to worry about, you know, keeping, getting a tumorcidal dose to say a pituitary adenoma and limiting dose to the optic chiasm. Um, you know, with the CyberKnife, you just contour in everything um, and the machine, the margins are so tight. You know, you have a 0.7 millimeter margin, which I tell my patients is less than the diameter of a piece of hair. So for us to give really high doses to, in this analogy, to the pituitary gland and much lower doses to the optic chiasm, the stuff that used to keep me up at night, you know, am I gonna cause this patient blindness? Am I gonna hurt this patient? Uh, provided that your dose volume objectives are reasonable, meaning you're not 
on asking the machine to do something that just doesn't make sense, you're always going to hit your mark. So, you know, you can treat tumors with tight margins to big doses. You're very confident that you're not going to hurt the normal anatomy. Um, and that's really anywhere that we treat with the cyber. You know, we use lung and you're some adjacent to the spinal cord. If we do prostate, which is kind of my niche, and you're giving big doses and you have the bladder and the rectum there, you're really able to give super high doses of radiation to that normal anatomy, to that, to that tumor and limit dose of the normal anatomy with confidence. You know, we, we always, I mean, with any radiation system, you're gonna you know, res respect the normal dose you know, volume of objectives and not go over them. But you know, sometimes you have to expand the margins or sometimes you know that you're not compensating and correcting for movement in real time, um, that you have to kind of compromise on something, be it dose, be it coverage, be it margins. Um, I don't have to do that with the CyberNet. I would tell John Haas with browner hair, God, 15 years ago, not to worry. Uh, the stuff that I was afraid of, um, you know, the doses and the outcomes. Um, not to worry that that your intuition that you know this was a treatment that was going to work worked. Um, your fear that what everyone was going to consider to be a non-standard or heretical treatment, you know, a pariah. You know, you were eventually not only going to come into the mainstream with this treatment, but be able to lead others. Um, all the fear that you had you know, with normal anatomy and side effects was nothing to be feared. Um, your fear about not being able to keep up with other people's technology, because Accuray has been visionary and expanding and making the CyberNets better and faster. Um, you know, back in the day, we used to have to put screws into the, into the spine for spine treatment. You know, and then Exide Spine came out. You know, we didn't really know how to treat lung, and then Synchrony Lung came out. Um, we were slow with prostate, and in Tempo tracking for prostate came out. Um, you know, we used to be slower with fixed collimators. Then the MLC came out you know, with the M6, and now the M and the S7. Um, so I would tell to answer your question, I would tell young John Haas, you know, trust the company that you know Accuray is listening. Dr. McDonald is a consultant clinical oncologist specializing in the treatment of patients with lung cancer. She has both a private and an NHS practice at the Royal Marsden Hospital in the UK. Dr. McDonald's research aims to improve outcomes by developing individualized approaches to lung radiotherapy through integration of novel functional imaging and targeted biological agents with advanced radiotherapy technologies including stereotactic cyber knife radiotherapy, intensity modulated and image guided adaptive radiotherapy. The main type of cases that um, I've treated on the cyber knife system have been patients with early stage non-small cell lung cancer. Um, this is routine standard of care um, to deliver stereotactic radiotherapy for patients who are considered inoperable or who aren't keen on proceeding down the surgical route. Our clinical use um, on, on CyberKnife in general is increasing because we're seeing um, more indications coming through for stereotactic radiotherapy. Um, I personally treat uh, lung cancer. Um, and therefore, as well as the early stage uh, lung cancer patients, we're seeing more indication for treatment of oligometastatic disease in the various different um, settings. And that's not just the lung metastases, that's metastases from various sites um, around the body um, with increasing numbers of patients coming through for treatment. So with the CyberKnife system, um, I particularly like uh, using this as a solution for patients with certain types of oligometastasis. So take, for example, adrenal metastases. Uh, because we're able to um, insert fiducials um, and use the tracking system, this really does give me uh, confidence um, in the delivery accuracy, particularly bearing in mind uh, the close by normal tissues that we're keen to um, avoid treating. So in general, as I say, we're seeing increased uh, use of stereotactic radiotherapy for oligomets um, with increasing international data and more trials coming through 
um, demonstrating the likely clinical benefit. At the Royal Marsden, we're not only treating um, metachronous oligometastases uh, routinely, um, but we also have trials open um, looking at stereotactic radiotherapy in different settings. For example, synchronous oligometastases, for non-small cell lung cancer, and also in the oligoprogressive setting for mutation positive patients with non-small cell lung cancer. So with the new CyberKnife 7 system, the main benefit I see for patients is that the treatment time is much quicker for patients, and particularly bearing in mind our um, patient demographic when we're talking about early stage non-small cell lung cancer. These patients tend to be um, fairly elderly and patient comfort is of paramount importance during treatment and therefore the faster the treatment, um, the easier it is for patients to tolerate and their overall experience of treatment um, is, is, is optimal. So to summarise the new CyberKnife system, if I were to give three words, I would say speed, precision and motion synchronisation. I want to thank you again for joining us today and I hope you came away with some key insights and inspiration from hearing how your peers are using the CyberKnife system to push the leading edge of radiotherapy forward. If this presentation has left you with questions or you'd like to learn more about Accuray technology, I invite you to visit Accuray's virtual astro booth or visit Accuray.com. Thank you, and I hope you make the most of Astro 2020.